How's it going everyone and welcome back to go-kart build video number 28 and as I just mentioned in the previous video this video will consist of me fixing a few things on the go-kart that I've been meaning to fix um, and a few of them popped up after I drove the go-kart again after getting it running um, so yeah so that's pretty much what the video is going to consist of I'm trying to walk you through it and uh, just kind of show me fixing the things um, kind of got it disassembled already got the back um, uh, wheels off with the outer axles taken off as well so um, I'm gonna throw the camera up on the tripod and uh, show you guys and fill you in on what I will be doing and what I'm doing currently okay so as you can see got the wheels taken off there and um, what I've got to do now is take actually the engine and the engine plate off so I can get better access to the um, the spot where I need to weld onto so just gonna start by uh, undoing all these bolts and, um, and then I gotta undo the chain and once I do that then I'll kind of periodically keep you guys filling because it's kind of boring just watching me um, loosen a bunch of bolts so uh, I'll fill you in when I finish that part okay change of plans I'm not going to take off the engine and the engine plate because I feel like it's just a little too time consuming and I think I can get access to that piece down there just have to kind of it's gonna be tight uh, getting in there with the welder and stuff but I think I can do it and I really just don't want to take off the uh, engine from the go-kart. So I'm going to go ahead and take off the other U-joint right now and then um, I'm going to use the wire brush on the drill to get any paint and primer off of the surface so I can get a good welding surface um, to start on. So um, I'll be doing that and then once I kind of start the welding process I'll fill you guys in when I get there. Okay, so a little change of plans here. Um, basically, when I was trying to lay down the bead weld to simulate the key stock on the axle, it just wasn't um, it wasn't going to work out well because of how the go kart's like fully assembled right now. I, it would be a lot easier if you know everything was out and not in the go kart, but I don't want to have to disassemble it again. Like that was the last thing I wanted to do. So, I, I mean, what I chose to do is not like the most I'd say efficient way to go about doing things, if that's the way to talk, say it, but I'd probably say it's it's the easiest, <coughs> excuse me, um, right now. And um, I mean, so what I did was basically, I'd say the equivalent, the go-kart equivalent of welding your diff in a car. So for those that don't know, people that don't have limited slip dif differentials in cars, they'll actually weld the differential together so they always have power going to both wheels so it's you know you can launch better and stuff like that so I mean I essentially what I did was is I just welded right the u-joint right to the axle so that's kind of blurry but um, I'm just doing four tack welds uh, spaced 90 degrees apart from one another so basically the the u-joints are now locked to the axle and so if I want to somehow try and take the axle off, um, I'm going to have to get uh, unbolt all the bearings and then try and take it off somehow. But I don't know, um, worst case scenario, if I really need to take, take the axle off or something, I'll just grind off the welds real quick with a, like a really flat grinding disc and it shouldn't be a problem. Um, but so I just finished welding that half of the U-joint and then the inner half of the other side U-joint. So I'm going to be putting the other axle through and then welding it to that side. So it's going to be a little bit easier because I don't have to like reach so far in and underneath the engine. Um, so yeah, like I said, it's not the most economical way about going about things, but the, there's just, I don't like having that play in the um, axle. So basically before like the the axle will go inside the U-joint and there would still be some play. It wouldn't be like a perfect fit and that was because the holes for the bolts that I drilled were deforming. I think that's partially because um, these bolts that I'm using, uh, they don't, so they're grade eight bolts and um, they're not, they're carriage bolts, so meaning they're not tap, tap bolts, I think that's what you call them. They don't, the threads don't go all the way to the the head of the bolt and that's a good thing because you know the threads aren't going to hold up to like the forces as well as just like a flat part on the bolt that doesn't have threads so I think what was happening was is 
the bolt isn't, the flat part on the bolt isn't long enough to go all the way through and cover both holes. So essentially one hole was sitting on the flat part and one hole was sitting partially on the threads. So that allowed for some play. So I may try and find some longer bolts that um, the threads are a little bit out farther and there's more of, of the flat surface for the, the uh, U-joint to rest on. But I think this um, welding should fix that problem. Obviously it's gonna make it harder to take the axle off and stuff like that, but you know, hopefully we'll have to worry about something like that until you know whenever but I think this will help a lot so I'm gonna go ahead and finish welding the other two now okay so I just finished up uh, pretty much welding the u-joints uh, to the axle all four parts so outside inside and then inside outside so now um, the next order of business for uh, go-kart um, repairs is going to be fixing um, the brakes so that they so that the um, the uh, caliper or the rotor actually stops with the axle and doesn't just keep spinning inside the axle doesn't just keep spinning inside the the hub so what I'm gonna have to do is I'm gonna I gotta realign the rotor a little bit because it's rubbing on on this side of the caliper and so I'm gonna realign that and then I got a long drill bit so I'm gonna drill a quarter inch hole all the way through and have it try and be as straight as I possibly can so um, it goes through well. So that's the next order of business um, for fixing the go-kart today. Okay, so I just finished drilling a hole through the, um, the uh, brake disc hub. Um, so it, it was pretty straight. I'm pr I was pretty happy with just freehanding it um, and not using a drill press or anything like that. So it went pretty straight through. Um, the only problem is the bolt I bought to go in there is not long enough, so I'm going to have to go back to Home Depot and get probably like a half inch to an inch longer bolt so I can feed the um, the nut and lock washer on there because I don't want this without a lock washer, and I'm probably actually going to get a lock nut also. So, um, so yeah, so I finished that part. I'll probably go to Home Depot a little bit later today. Um, but then, where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing now is moving on to plastic dipping the back of the seat. So, we'll move on to that next. Okay, a little update here. Got the seat taken off. Um, basically, just left the seat struts attached at one point, the point that mounts to the go kart, and then um, removed all the bolts on the seat um, itself. So then I took the seat off. I'm gonna put it over here, and um, I gotta wipe it down because it's got some grease from the chain and the belt splattering on the back of it. So then once I wipe that down, I'll probably put some, I'll go over it with some light sandpaper, and then go ahead and put the plastic up on, probably about two to three coats, and um, we'll be good to go. And then I'll reattach the seat, and then um, I think that'll be it for today in terms of modifications, but I'll check in with you guys um, while, while I'm painting the seat or plastic to ping it and then kind of go from there to figure out what the next video will consist of. Alright everyone, so another update here on the seat. So been working on the seat for the past hour or so and it's dark now but I'm gonna try and show you guys with some light from my phone. Um, so as you can see the seat is all plastic dipped now black so it's not paint but um, it's like kind of a rubber uh, removable peelable paint if you will so um, so just finishing up the seat so I'm gonna put the seat back on the go-kart here in a second and then I'll probably wrap up the video so yeah as I'm waiting for the seat to dry because probably is gonna take a little while to dry before I can actually put it back on the go-kart uh, but I mean in terms of other things I have to do, there's not really a whole lot else I'm going to do at the moment. The only thing that comes to mind is um, to get the belt guard here uh, cut to size. So this belt guard obviously goes over the belt. As someone mentioned in my last video, probably should put that on sooner rather than later so it doesn't break and slap me in the back of the head when I'm driving. So yeah, so I'm gonna put the belt guard on, and um, the only thing I have to do is like kind of cut the bottom of the belt guard. That's nah, not gonna stay on there. I have to kind of cut the bottom of the belt guard to fit over the um, the tubing on the frame and also the chain. So uh, I probably use like a Dremel tool for that uh, 
to cut that out. So other than that, I mean, everything's good to go. I mean, I just have to get the other bolt um, to go through the, the brake disc hub and put the seat back on and then probably test drive it again, see how it, how it feels, see if those welds hold up on the uh, axle there. I think they should be okay. I mean, you put four tack welds, or I mean, I did really attack, but then I kind of went back over a few of them. So there's four welds on each side, so it should be plenty strong enough, I think, um, to hold it. Um, but I think that's going to wrap up this video. Fireworks. Alrighty, everyone. So that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. Uh, I apologize if it was a little bit of a shorter video today. It just kind of had to do some tedious work, and um, before you knew it, it got too dark to really film anything. And pretty much, I was just applying a bunch of coats onto the uh, seat of the plastic with the the plastic dip. So wasn't really a whole lot of interesting filming going on today, but um, I tried to get as much as I could. And sometimes when I'm working on like tough things like the axle today with the welding. Um, it's a little bit hard to do both and set up the shot at the same time. So I just like to get it done and then fill you guys in when I'm done. Um, but yeah, so that was, uh, that's all the content for this video. Um, so I think in the next video, um, what I'll probably be doing is maybe look out for, um, I might try and get some PVC tubes to put around the tires so maybe we can get some um, slidey drifty action on the go-kart uh, so that, I think that should be pretty fun and then um, so one also another fix like two fixes that I have to do in the future is um, when I was driving it a few weeks ago or like a week ago I hit the brakes and that was when the brakes gave out on me and so I kept I pushed the pedal even harder because I, I didn't I just thought it was because there was a lack of um, brake fluid pressure in the cylinder um, but it was just because the rotor uh, was the axle was spinning inside the rotor hub um, but I kind of bent the pedal so maybe try and have to might have to like bend that pedal back and um, and then also I'm going to probably apply some other type of paint that's a little more durable to um, having your feet on it all the time that might also add some grip um, but yeah so um, if there's any questions you guys have about the go kart build please let me know in the comment section below and I'll be happy to answer them for you. Um, and then also, I kind of wanted to ask you your, um, your for your ideas of videos to come in the future since um, I'm not really doing like as much fabrication anymore. So maybe like if there's a video you want me to specialize on in terms of like how, like different things if you're looking at building your own go-kart, like how to and things of that sort. <laughs> so. Um, so yeah, so if you have any ideas for future videos, just please let me know and I'll be happy to um, try and get those um, filmed and uploaded for you guys. So thanks again for watching. If you haven't already, definitely subscribe to the channel because there's a lot more awesome content to come regarding the go-kart and also other car videos, uh, car vlogs and stuff like that. And I'm going to wrap up the video now because I've been talking for a long time. So um, thank you all again for watching and I will see you in the next video.